Howdy, welcome to the second episode of Resident Evil 8 Pacifist. I want to say this up front and before we begin. I was a complete dumbass when recording this, and I used flash rounds. Like, a lot. Like, almost an annoying amount. For this reason, I'll keep the footage short and try to skip over it when I see it. I may keep it in the video, but I will turn the brightness down so it doesn't uh, affect anyone. I'll also put a warning in editing, of course. Picking back off where we left last time, our count was one, and we're going to a castle full of- Nothing but blood and death! I'm sure we would get through the castle with no interruptions or mishaps. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be too much death. At least, not by my hands. Well, Before we can even get to the castle, however, we are interrupted by Nicolas Cage. He drags us off to a very important family meeting. Whining. We're almost there! Now let's see everyone we got here. Tall Mommy, Tiffany, My Sleep Paralysis Demon, Bird Lady, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Nicolas Cage. The family is arguing over who gets the privilege of having Ethan. Tall Mommy is wanting to have Ethan all to herself and her daughters. Well, Nicolas Cage wants to use Ethan to put on a show for everyone. Tiffany and the Hunchback don't really seem to have a horse in the race. Bird Lady eventually gives Ethan over to Heisenberg, which seems to really infuriate Big Mommy Milkers over here. And we are soon thrown into a cinematic chase sequence down a cave, tunnel, I don't know what this says. It's a cave, I don't know why I wrote that. Do they follow me over? Of course they do. Very they nice, me down here? <laughs> No. Who trained you, stormtroopers? Ah. Finally! Hey, Ethan, it's just free acupuncture. I mean, like, hurt a little bit more than usual. Where's that lead out to? Shit! <laughs> My word. You truly are as strong as me. Oh, shit! I thought I was out of a... crush range. <laughs> oh, you didn't think I'd let you get away, did you? Gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood-soaked grand finale. <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef! <laughs> Those freaks have rows? Ethan, you shouldn't call other people's freaks. <laughs> I 
except for Heisenberg. Heading into the castle, we have three main obstacles between us and the challenge of killing as little people as possible. The, there's the lady herself and her three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Now the game is very trigger focused and will require me to kill each one of three each one of the three daughters before I can go on to fight um, the lady herself and leave the castle. I had a theory on killing the three daughters using passive damage, but we'll cover that when we get there. It, spoiler alert, it didn't work. On our way up to the castle gates, we are introduced to someone I can only describe as an absolute uh, I'm unit. Waiting for you, Mr. Winters. I know you've probably heard it before, and you're still not happy hearing it again. But this is what the ideal male body looks like. This is peak performance. Though I must say that castle arouses suspicion. Now, heading into the castle, we don't see anybody, um, or at least not until we make our way down to the main chamber. Or, not the main chamber, but the room just below the main chamber. After being scared by flies on the wall, metaphorical or literal, you decide, Ethan is then hooked through the leg and dragged through the castle, paraded like a piece of meat that, they, that has just caught on a hunt. He is then presented on display for the lovely Lady Domitreus, who promptly proceeds to drink his blood and insult him by calling him stale, and he is then hung up by the hand. <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winter. So, so Ethan just walks into this castle. He gets a hook, hooks to both of his legs. He has, he's dragged across the floor, you know, playfully. <laughs> and then he's like, he has his blood sucked out of his hand, clean, like clean bite. And he gets uh, strung up through his hands. For free. I usually have to pay for that. Now, when faced with a situation like this, you might be asking yourself, how would I get out of this? Would I, A, maybe try to wiggle my hand out of the hook and try to get out that way? Would I, B, try to climb and dislocate the hooks from the ceiling? Or C, would I just tear my hand straight through? If you're Ethan Winters, you chose option C. Crazy witches. <laughs> well, it's lucky they had the goop juice here. You know, I think I'll I think I'll sit by the fire for a bit. Uh, can I restore humanity? Can I 
Maidens of the Harvest. Well, they look to be having a jolly good time. Oh, I know. Um, Crit, where's the powder? Where's the powder? I have to throw it down in there and say Diagonelli. Uh, this is a. Okay, it does go up somewhere. Okay. Where have they taken Rose? I believe Ethan said it best back in Resident Evil 7. And I'll quote him. <clears throat> Who builds this shit? Kinda hot. <laughs> I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Taken alive, dead, which would you prefer? You know, Ethan, this doesn't sound like that bad of an idea. I can't hold back any longer. This next section with the um, cellar or dungeon, or whichever you want to call it, was the one where I used the flash round that was actually quote unquote necessary. I did this to uh, stun the enemies so I could run past them, which would have been more useful in the fortress later, but I ended up not flashing anyone there, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'll just skip to the Bella boss fight. I can't, I can't believe, believe Cassandra, Cassandra caused, caused all this all mess. This mess. Where are you going, little one? <sighs> Bullets cannot harm. <sighs> <sighs> To better illustrate my theory on passive damage, I'm going to need the help of a tiny little diagram. So let's get that set up now. On the screen should be a health bar for Bella Dometresque. So in this scene you have the cold air which in a file located other in the castle is said to make the flies that make up these vampires drop dead. My theory of course being that we, I could just lollygag around long enough, and eventually, the cold air that is um, that is killing the flies in the story and the narrative would eventually do enough damage to Bella, and therefore the other two daughters, killing them that way. So I would keep three counts off of my record. <laughs> Um, and I might come back and stand with this later, but uh, I think my passive damage
Ranch hypothesis was you can't drive and die after the way they shot him. So I'm gonna keep with him until 55 minutes, maybe 55 30, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> is that even 50? Yeah. <laughs> So with the crushing realization that this isn't going to work, or maybe I don't have the patience to find out, I reluctantly and regretfully add one more to the count. After killing Bella, we pick up a wine bottle, which we need to open a wall upstairs in order to get the courtyard key. Which we could then use to get this go out in the courtyard. Shall I give you the tour? Oh. She usually spawns in front of that door. We eventually find our way onto the balcony of the Lady Dimitrescu private chambers. You might be asking, does she really not see us? But sure, she knows we're here. She most definitely has to see us or know we're out here, some way or another. There's no way she doesn't see us here. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Ah, oh, it didn't break the windows. Oh shit. There you are. All this for a child who isn't Ethan. Here. <laughs> what the hell do uh! you ungrateful, selfish wretch? You come into my house, you lay your filthy man hands on my daughters, and now you even try to steal my property. How dare you! Rest while you can, because I will hunt you. And I will break you! I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. Go ahead, do your worst. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, Dalton, cut out the part where you went back, just like... <sighs> How did you get down here so fast? You'll be sliced to ribbons before you ever oh. see that child. <laughs> you will learn what it means to insult House Dumitresk. Yes, mommy. Yes, mother. I've been bad. I think you might need to teach me, teach me some manners. Where's she? Which where's she coming from? Okay. Are you gonna come down this way? Or are you gonna turn? You're gonna turn! And she's gonna slice through those. Yep. I'm waiting till she's right there. I'm not moving. Don't waste my time.
Oh, that's oh, that's good. The sound design's really good. I don't think she can follow me in here, can she? I can't go back out either. Or she could wait, could she just not come in here or something? I was right there, though. Just like you had me in the room, and you slammed me down here. Oh shit, I almost pulled out the magnum to shoot these guys. Remember, Dalton, don't shoot any of these people. Don't shoot any of them. Not even this jabroni. No, there's only three. It, it pains me that I, I can't go up and play the black keys. Cause if, I, if I'm remembering, if I'm remembering correct. Well, first I gotta speak English. If I'm remembering correctly, this is G. Hold on. G. A, B. G. Okay, so yeah, these this goes alphabetical. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think. Yeah. Okay. That seems to line up. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, damn it, I don't remember it. I was trying to play Welcome to the Black Parade, but it had been a few years since I played the piano. Uh, and I can't read music or English. Like, I could read music, but I was a drummer, you know? So it doesn't translate that well to this. Oh yeah, please don't let this poor display. I actually do know how to read music. Um, so. Let's see, treble clef, 6 8 time. Or not time, but. Um, that's. So much time wasted. And just me trying to remember how to play Black Parade. All this work for a child who isn't even here. Wait, is she not? Is she? She's not stunned. Moving on to the next boss fight, we can go ahead and skip it and add it to the count along with Cassandra because 
like I established earlier, there is no other way to get around killing them. After putting the masks on their respective pedestals, it somehow unlocks and opens the doors. We are then presented, for some reason, with the weapon that can kill the vampires Lady Domitresque and anything. And it is just right here. Now, Ethan, that was uncalled for. Of course, we don't get to use it. I swear this controller, it's so sensitive. It won't charge either. <laughs> Flesh, bones, I will devour all of you! Moving on to the Lady Domitresse boss fight, it is an easy fight with all the things, which so I'll skip. You've probably seen it a thousand times, you don't need to see me do it again. You have to kill her in order to progress, so for the challenge, you do have to kill her, adding one more to the count. That concludes episode 2 of Resiolet Pacifist. Our count so far, unfortunately, is four people. We will venture next episode into the Beneviento house. Thank you, and I hope to see you all there. All right. Well, what do I do now? Hi. Do you have that little short film done by any chance? No. Can't say that I have. Well, uh... Don't you think might need to get on that? So we don't have another disaster? Like James was? Yeah, I think so too.